You know, more often than not, a lot of people associate the name Reality Fails with PlayStation. And that's true. I'm a huge fanboy of Sony. I'm a huge fanboy of PlayStation. I always have been, always will be. But you know what? When it comes to Blizzard and Valve titles... I certainly do a bit of dabbling in PC. And today, May 15th, 2012, does not belong exclusively to Max Payne. As you can see, Diablo 3 came out. 12 years in the making, god damn it. And I am such a big fan of Blizzard and the Diablo franchise. It's probably my favorite series on PC, if not of all time, that I just, you know, decided to buy two copies. Bleep. Anywho, enough talking, you know exactly what's about to go down. We're about to unbox this, so let's go ahead and do it. Bleep. Oh my god, it's a Jesus Christ. Oh my god, it's like a Mega Saran Wrap. Boom! Alright, there we go. And in typical Blizzard fashion, their collector's editions, you just lift. Ta-da! And my oh my, we got all sorts of crap in here. I don't even know where to start. We're gonna go ahead and uh, start with this box. Let's see what's in here. Let's get this out. Oh my god, it's tight. That's what she said. And inside is the Diablo skull, as well as, I believe, a 4 gigabyte USB soul stone. In the form of a soul stone, at least. And I think if you take the little skull, you can actually shove the soul stone into the forehead of Diablo like BAM! Sweet! Let's see what else we got in here. This looks like a CD case, so I'm assuming it's a soundtrack, and it is Collector's Edition soundtrack for Diablo 3. And on the back, it is uh, apparently 23 songs. So uh, that's a lot of wholesome music you could be bumping out of your car. And it looks like we got all sorts of codes in here, which I would show you the front of, but I totally can't because they have the code written on them, and I want them, they're mine. So it looks like there's a number of things. First of all, you get three Diablo 3 guest passes. You also get a World of Warcraft guest pass. And you also get to install Diablo 2 and the expansion, Diablo 2 Lord of Destruction. And I believe it's actually on the USB that comes with the skull, the Diablo skull, but you need a code to activate it. And it looks like next up we have the behind the scenes DVD and Blu-ray 2 disc set, which is awesome because I have a PS3 so I can watch it in Blu-ray. Fuck you, Xbox. And of course you get the DVD for Diablo 3 itself. I think there's a bunch of codes in here as well. I'm not going to open it up, but I think it comes with an aesthetic artifact of some sort. You get like wings. You also get a World of Warcraft pet fetish shaman. And you get some uh, StarCraft 2 Battle.net portraits. I think three of them if I'm not mistaken. Cool. And of course, we come to my favorite component of the collector's edition, any collector's edition, really. The art book. And as you might suspect, it is filled with a bunch of art. Filled to the brim with a bunch of art that I totally will never ever look at because I am too busy playing the game that all this art was made for in the first place. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the Diablo 3 Collector's Edition set. Just to recap, it comes with a behind-the-scenes DVD and Blu-ray 2 disc set, a Collector's Edition soundtrack, Art of Diablo 3, which I don't give really two shits about, a Diablo Skull, a 4 gigabyte USB Soul Stone that attaches into it, and I think it actually even might glow. I could be lying about that. Exclusive in-game content, and the game, of course. So with that said, I'm done talking, because I want to play it. Adios.